Hello, everyone. I believe many of us find it very difficult to have someone treat us wrongly and we choose to not do wrong back. I hope this is making sense to you. Many of us may choose to do nothing bad back, probably, maybe for some of us, we know that we reap whatever we sow. But at the same time, I think many of us find it very difficult. Some people may believe, hey, this person over here is a Christian and I know that person is very soft and humble and uh, very long suffering. So let me use this person. Let me take advantage of this person. Let me, in a sense, treat this person unseemly because I know this person is not going to respond back negatively because they are trying to please God. Like, don't you find people like that in this world? Mess with people because maybe some of those people don't want to do wrong because of God, if you understand what I mean. I believe many of us find it very difficult to not do wrong back to those, I would say, selfish, maybe narcissistic people, man. I know for myself, I find it very difficult. Am I telling you I do everything right? No, I don't. I mess up at times. But at the same time, I am not trying to take advantage of people day in and day out. In the past, I was a worse person than I am now. Or should I say, I was worse than I am now. So, so I am better now. But back in the past, I was worse. <laughs> However, I want to say it. But anyways, um, I would seek out revenge so much. I would seek it out so much. You know, I am ashamed to say this a bit, but I wanted, when I was looking for my revenge, I wanted to hurt the person way more than how they hurt me. So let's say this person hurt me on a level three. I wanted to hurt that person at a level six or more you know it made me think of something um years ago when i was younger than i am now i am not going to get into much details but there was a person that i felt was treating me wrongly so i waited and waited and waited and I saw an opportunity to where I can hurt that person more than more or maybe at the same level of how they hurt me did I say that right I found an opportunity to hurt that person more than they hurt me I believe that is correct and I took it and I believe what I did emotionally hurt that person hugely. And I believe uh, if a person or some people 
maybe a person. I believe if a person did not have mercy on that individual, I think things could have went further. You know, that is kind of how I was back in the past. Like, if you do me wrong, I am going to find a way to get back at you. In many cases, I was that way. Maybe not with everyone, but I believe in many cases, I was that way. But at the same time, I was... I was a really, really, really bad person. But anyways, the point I am speaking about that, when I would do wrong, now, at first, I believe I thought it was a coincidence. I thought when bad things came your way, or should I say, I thought when bad things come my way, I was thinking it was a coincidence. But I think after I started to read the Bible more and more and more, I learned that it is not a coincidence. I believe everything that happens in this life happens for a reason. There is nothing that happens in this world that happens by chance. No way. No way. No way. Like these weird dreams I have these days. I believe those dreams are happening for a reason. Weird dreams. I can't really explain so much of it. Like, it may seem very random to me, but I can't really explain a lot of it, honestly. Hello? Okay. Let's go to Romans chapter 12. And I'm going to bounce around a little bit. So let's go to verse 14. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. So people who do you wrong, we pretty much have to do good to them. Okay, now let's go to verse, in the same chapter, let's go to verse 17. Recompense to no man evil for evil. So don't do the stuff I used to do in my past. Don't be on that getting revenge stuff. Don't do that. Don't get revenge. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Okay, let's go to verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. I believe that is very clear there. Don't avenge yourself. Well, this person did wrong to me, so I am going to do wrong back to that person. I will show that person that they can't do me wrong and believe they are going to get away with it. So I am going to do evil back to that person. No, don't do that. But rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So the Lord is saying, I see that person doing you wrong. In essence, what he is saying. Or let me paraphrase it. In essence, <laughs> what he is saying, I see that person doing you wrong. I see that person. But also I am looking at you. How are you going to handle, please listen to what I am saying. How are you going to handle a person doing you wrong? Are you going to do evil back? Are you going to stay humble and don't do evil back? But in essence, what this is saying, the Lord, it will pay that person back. Meaning, I believe, a punishment. Okay. Okay, let's go to... What verse is this? Verse 20. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, 
feed him or her. And you may say, Kevin, how in the world do you expect me to feed my enemy when they have done so much wrong to me? They cussed out my mother. They stole from me. They took advantage of me. They burnt down my house. They, uh, what are some other bad things a person can do? They slept my wife. They slept my husband. They took my diamond ring. How in the world can I feed my enemy? You may say that. Let me continue. So, let this fly up in here. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. This fly up in here, man, really annoying me. Some. Okay, so where was I? Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou should heap coals of fire on his head. So what this is saying, feed your enemy. Give your enemy drink. So treat your enemy something like a friend. Or should I say be charitable? Yeah, yeah. Give to your enemy. So, hey, you are choosing to do evil to me. Hey, I am going to choose to bless you. You choose to go around my back saying bad things about me that aren't true, that are not true. But when I see you in trouble, I will give you clothes. I will give you food. I give you water. I will give you stuff like that. I hope this is making sense. Okay, let me put it another way. If your enemy uh, went to your boss, told your boss a lie about you, and got you fired. Hey, you got me fired. Okay, I see that your car is broke down and you are on the side of the road, you did evil to me, but I am going to come where you are at, pick you up, take you home so you can call uh, a pickup truck or whatever. So when you do me evil, I'm going to do good. This is how Christians are supposed to be. And you may say, Kevin, you know, I can't do that. You know, I like revenge. You know, I have to show this person that they can't continue doing me wrong. Well, if you be that way, won't you reap what you sow also? Won't you continue to get yourself into trouble also? Anyways, let me get back to 20. So for in so, for in so doing, so therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, for in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Now, what came to my mind was your enemy will feel shame. But I looked it up and... Um, I believe I saw something saying that your enemy will feel, in essence, what it was saying. In essence, what it said. Your enemy will feel remorse. And remorse is deep regret or guilt for a wrong committed. So they will feel bad. Like, hey, this person... I did wrong to that person, but this person did, did not cuss me out. This person did not do evil back to me, but this person is helping me. This person is giving me food, shoes, clothes, a wig, um, hair extensions. 
Like this person is doing good back to me while when I did bad to that person, if I am saying that right. So that person is doing good to me when I did wrong to that person. I hope this makes sense. Now, you may say that um, it is hard for you to be this way, and it may be, but it works. I did this before. I did this before. And I tell you this, I believe God avenged me. I believe my enemy got paid back. And on top of that, that person apologized to me multiple times. Would call me, apologize, apologize. How can I say this? This person called me more than one time and apologized what he or she did to me. I am serious. Am I sitting here telling you I never do wrong? I am not saying that. Am I telling you that I am an angel? I am not telling you that. Am I telling you that I am Jesus Christ's cousin? I am not telling you that. I do wrong as well. But what I am telling you, when someone does you wrong, you don't need to do wrong back. But you should do, if you are able to, you should do good back. It may go against, I guess, common sense. Uh, how can I say this? It may go against humankind common sense, I guess. But this is spiritual. The problem you are having with that person is spiritual. Okay. I hope all of this makes sense. Actually, let me go to verse 21 in Romans chapter 12. Be not overcome of evil. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. What do you think that is saying? You can beat evil by doing good, right? Like you tried explaining yourself and your enemy is not trying to hear it. Your enemy is accusing you, telling you you are this, you are that, you know, you are a hypocrite and all this mess here. Okay, if your words won't work, fight it spiritually. At the same time, I believe you have the option, if you have the option, to do good to your hard-headed, narcissistic, unwise enemy. If this is the case for you, which it may be. <laughs> may God bless you all. May God bless us, actually.